The electric knife fish, or electric eel to its friends, has one of the most shocking talents in the animal kingdom, literally. Used to sense and attack prey, the electric eel's ability to generate, store and release jolts from within its body has fascinated scientists for centuries. And now, they're mimicking it on a quest to create a flexible bio-battery which could power all kinds of futuristic tech to wear on our bodies and even inside our bodies. To make an electric eel-inspired battery, the first thing to understand is how the eels do it. Enter specialised cells called electrocytes. These cells have membranes that allow certain charged ions to pass through, leaving the cell in a neutral state when it's resting. When the eel is ready to strike, channels on one side of the cell open and positive ions rush in, generating a current and zap its curtains for the unsuspecting prey. Each electrocyte only produces around 150 millivolts, but large eels can have thousands of them packed together like a battery. Using some clever nervous system timing, they're able to activate them all simultaneously, making for a hefty shock. Scientists based at the University of Fribourg in Switzerland took inspiration from this process to create an artificial electric organ. They used blobs of hydrogel to mimic each part of the electrocyte. Yellow and green blobs act as the selectively permeable membranes. Red and blue blobs contain different levels of the ions. Just like the eel, ions rush across these membranes to generate a current. Each group of four blobs can produce about the same voltage as an electric eel's electrocyte. Also like the eel, scientists wanted to stack their artificial cells up to increase the voltage. But how do you do that? One answer, printing. When laid on top of each other, these two sheets laden with hydrogel blobs form one long line of repeating units, enough to generate about 100 volts. Now, there's one more thing. The eel fires all of its electrocytes simultaneously to get maximum voltage, and the scientists need to do the same. To get that high voltage, all of the gels need to contact at the same time. The sheets made it faster, but for truly simultaneous connections, the researchers came up with another idea. Folding. This allowed all the biogel blobs to touch each other almost simultaneously. The eel can recharge its battery biologically within its body. Whereas right now, the artificial battery needs to be connected up to a power source. Researchers want to use their battery to power things like contact lenses with integrated displays or biological sensors or even wearable tech. So the hope is that their battery too will one day be recharged biologically. After all, if the eel can do it, why can't we? Right? <laughs> <laughs>